For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. 2 Timothy 1.7 Many Christians live in bondage to fear today. They are overwhelmed with a spirit of fear. It's paralyzing. You may be one of them, gripped with some debilitating fear that keeps you from moving forward with your life. Your walk with Christ is compromised. Some of you fear financial ruin and some imminent loss. Some of you fear disease and death. Some of you may fear curses, threats, lawsuits, and a multitude of terrible things that people can do to you. You are intimidated by others. You may also fear man's disapproval. Some of you fear the devil. Some of you have an unhealthy, unbiblical fear of God. I will do a video on the reverent fear of God another time. Some of you are paralyzed and overrun with fears of your very own sin nature. You live in the shadow of the next sin you may commit. It steals your joy today. Christians live in fear of all kinds of things. We are capable of fearing anything even though we are commanded and empowered by Christ as born-again believers not to fear. We have not been given a spirit of fear by God Almighty in Christ Jesus our Lord. I'm Steve Rossi, a Christian counselor. Welcome to my video, Freedom from Fear. These short videos are designed for the Christian community, and I pray that you are encouraged and blessed by them. I pray that you live victoriously in Christ. My website is www.thechristiancounselor.com. What is fear? How does it work? What does God say about fear? It can be a feeling of anxiety, an unpleasant feeling caused by the presence or anticipation of danger. It can be a frightening thought, an idea, or other entity that causes a feeling of fear. It can be worry or concern about something threatening or something that can bring bad results. Sometimes it starts small and grows into a mountain of terror within. It can be imagined or real. It has a life of its own. It can overpower us if we let it. Fear is not to be confused with the reverent healthy fear of God which we should have. God says fear not. His word is full of commandments and reassurances not to fear. It is actually a sin to live fearful lives as Christians. Understanding fear. Where does your fear come from and how does it affect you? There can be real threats made against you by others. You can have real enemies drawn up against you on every side. There could be real impending disasters. You see them from a distance. These threats can be imagined. Not real, but you believe that they are coming. Now, I also want to mention that with post-traumatic stress, people who have been through horrible situations, they'll fear that these situations are going to come again, but they don't. You could have insecurities. A spirit of fear led in by something you have done, a sin you committed. A spirit of fear could be inherited as a generational curse. We all know that families pass down curses and they can pass down fear. You could be allowing the enemy to get a foothold through giving into fear. Pride invites fear. Anger involves fear. Running away from God. Not abiding in Christ. Feeding the flesh. Falling into the world. All kinds of entry levels are available for fear, despite the power of God in you. How can this be? Because we know that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. No matter what the source, it's not good. It does not glorify God and it makes for a poor Christian walk. It brings you further away from God and makes you susceptible for falling further into sin. The importance of addressing your fears. So you can be a better witness to others in overcoming fears, so God can use you more mightily for his glory on earth, so you can avoid 
giving the devil a foothold and falling deeper into sin out of fear. The God we serve is able to deliver us. Daniel 3.17 For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. Romans 8.15 Steps to Freedom Over Fear Step 1. Acknowledge it. Admit the fear you have. Don't deny it. Step 2. Present it to the Lord. Confess it and repent. Step 3. Pray. Ask the Lord to help you overcome this fear. Step 4. Face it with Christ, relying on Christ and using His word and promises. Forsake your fear. Don't let it back in. Abide in Christ. Step 5. Live in His victory and Christ's peace. Remember, your Savior and your Deliverer. Complete victory over fear daily and lifelong. What does this look like? It does not mean you will never be attacked by your sinful self or the devil again. It means you are ready to deal with everything in Christ that comes. Fear will try to raise its ugly head. That's about it. Resist. Be assured that Christ drives out fear every time. Where Christ is, fear is not. They cannot coexist in you at the same time. Jesus is much stronger. Live in victory one moment, one day at a time. Abide fearlessly in Christ. The power of God in Christ Jesus will handle our adversaries and fears. No adversary or fear can stand against God. They are no match against him. They are defeated. Greater is he that is in you. He is the one who fights your battles before they even come. 1 John 4.18 There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves torment. But the one who fears has not been made perfect in love. Christ's perfect love dries out fears. His love is powerful. His love has to do with forgiveness, not punishment or torment. We are made perfect in His love. Christians who fear have not been made perfect in love. They have dropped the ball. We fail God when we give in to fear. He is the cure for all our fears, real or imagined. We are being made perfect by Him. It's a lifelong process. Let Him love you and change you. Let Him, with His perfect love, cast out your fears. Give them to Him. Abide in Christ's love. Spend quiet time with Him daily in prayer, praising Him and reading His word. Worship Him. Live out that intimate relationship with Him. Love Jesus with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. I will also give you some scriptures on fear in another video. Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, our Messiah. Lord Christ, I pray that everyone seeing this video today will be encouraged to come to you and confess their sin of fear repent and petition you to help them. I pray that you strengthen their hearts to face this life without fear and that they abide in you and develop that intimacy with you that makes them a witness to others as they walk in your perfect love without fear, that they live the victorious life. I pray you continue to protect them from the enemy and encourage them to others, to, uh, to abide in Christ, to abide in your love. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. God bless you.